Hello everyone, my name is Saksham Dikshit and this is my channel Pentest Diary. So today I'll make another video on the same series of knowledge here and in this video itself I'll try to cover the concept and this is not at all be a concept this is I just want to share four applications which every developer should know like these things how to get it use that and like as if you are working like a developer or if you are just a beginner and you want to just start your career in software development these are the four applications which you have to be aware about it like as you are a developer definitely you have to use it like at uh, different different phases either you're working for enterprise environment or you're a freelancer whatever is it you have to know these tools so i'll start further with that uh, the first tool is a postman api development and the testing and this is utilized by the pen testers also as i have utilized it a uh, lot but uh, as a developer you should know this tool as you require this tool for the api like um, uh, just to test the capability of the api and everything about it what type of post like um, the couple of cases what type of request what type of uh, authentication everything to try to get it configured test it everything you can simulate instead of the postman collection so that is one of the best tool i can say that and in case of pen testers like i'll give it a view of the pen testers also if they just want to use the postman collection this is not only for the developer this is for the pen tester also so like couple of cases when you're performing assessments on the apis the people are providing the uh, postman collection to you so that was one of the thing when they're providing a postman collection to you you simply have to utilize the postman tool import that file and then in that case you can trigger that request get it forwarded to the bob student then do the testing for it so that's also one of the beneficial tool for the pen testers also and developers they can develop it they can do the testing for that api itself how exactly how to get it configured whether they get the appropriate response or not whether they're reaching the uh, servers they're getting the appropriate response or not everything they can see it using the postman collection this is one of the tools going further with that get version control itself that's also one of the things like when you uh, making any uh, application and uh, you have done some application you have did something coding and you have uploaded that to the git github but like later phase itself you have update something so to update that thing like we are utilizing a git uh, uh, git software over there so just to revise the version and that version to be get it maintained by the git tool so that's also one of the beneficial to like it any one time if you have update something in your uh, existing github repository and suddenly you are oh something i have missed it in that so it's nothing like that don't be worried about it as the git tool have a version related uh, version wise updation so the thing is that if you if you want to roll up you can roll out to the previous version and whatever that you have updated in the previous version you can roll out your repository to the previous person also so don't be worried about it if you're utilizing the git and now the docker so to get it deployed that application on a docker that bit feasible i'm not saying that all type of application you can deploy it but uh, nowadays most of the application when you're talking about it like they are uh, putting on a docker itself it's just because of the scalability it bit faster and a couple of things over there itself just for a security point of view i'm not uh, i'm not saying that this uh, docker is the best option for it but if i'm talking about the other context so docker it bit faster at the time of uh, execution of the application if your application is not appropriately working you can instantly we start a new container and you can um, your application will be working for it at any point of time a lot of load is coming to uh, your application and at that time multiple sections of it you can open it multiple containers you can start it at the time so that's feasible point for you instead of if you're talking about like if you have deployed on a server itself if you have a, having a limited uh, cpu rams or i can say that uh, limited storage over there so it's creating a problem for you like to uh, scale up to the um, higher version and it will cost a lot but in case of docker it's not at all your possibility for it you can scale up as per your need itself and when it's not required it's automatically get destroyed and you can the primary docker at the time uh going further with that visual studio code that is most important i can say that um, if, if you are coding in python if you are coding in any other language or node.js asp.net whatever the language or even the rust also so till yet i have done a coding on a solidity so for the solidity i have not utilized the um, visual studio so far but the thing is you can use it visual studio over there itself as most of the time i'm using a remix id over there just to get it deployed just to uh, visualize everything about 
about it but if i want it i can use it as multiple plugins are available in case of visual studio and you can use it as per your need and if i'm talking about like a python rust for node.js lot of plugins out over there itself and even nowadays like chat gpt you're not supposed to go for the chat gpt over there itself you have multiple plugins to be getting deployed like a copilot to be there on your uh, vs code so by that way it's a solution you can get it very like at any point of time when you compile your code and you're getting some errors so copilot is automatically with it so just to provide solution on the top of it so that's also one of the thing a benefit for it so these are the four tools which i just want to share it with you and you can utilize it as per your need now if i'll talk about the use cases for it this also use cases for uh visits i'm not talking about all the content itself one by one you can read that content but i'm just making you understand about it how exactly these things other than that if i'll talk about few more things over there itself which is beneficial like uh, ide so ide is most important i can say that uh, where we are just putting the code and we wanted that to be get it compiled especially in case of python itself you are using id whatever the id you just want to get it used like either it's a pycharm node js uh, or i can say that uh, vs code over there itself or simple python itself to be get it deployed make it the file and get it compiled with a python 3 tool so that's also one of the id you can utilize it that's one of the thing so id is also a main thing which you have to be get it selected as per your need and you can get it compile that make it in a note uh in a notepad file itself get it compile either put it on a pycharm make it the code and get it run so such type of id you can utilize it this is depend totally on like which application uh, which type of language you are utilizing it and as per your language you can select the id going further with that core documentation this is also most important like i'm not talking about the, just make the documentation i'm talking about like when you are uh, start learning anything about with the programming language especially in the programming language make sure that you have a habit to read the documentation even at the time when i am preparing the lectures for the python and even for the solidity i have suggested all the time like the just the best way to learn programming language you have to go through the documentation um the reason is that like it's not only you are getting the knowledge with that the thing is that the latest stuff about that uh, programming language you're getting it like whenever the new revision of the version is getting update then definitely you'll get the update with that way itself so far better when you're going further with that you are reading the documentation like i'm not saying that every day you have to read initial phase when you're learning it definitely you have to read it but later phase itself just going to the documentation hardly a 10 15 minutes every week or 15 days you can see like whatever new update over there so it's not a major update not they are not updating 800 or 900 pages in a day no they will update few little bit changes over there itself whatever new libraries new things over there itself you just came to know about it and that will enhance the skills of you so make a habit of it and the last thing is the communication and the collaboration tool so that's most important like effective communication and the collaboration are essential for the software development team tools like uh, slack like why i'm talking about this like uh, when you are working like a developer especially in a developer forum so you required uh either you have to work like a team or you have to be get it involved in multiple forums for it that forums i'm talking about uh, where you have to like uh, open source type of thing you are providing a contribution from an open source point of view another than that um, if anyone facing an issue that person is pasting a problem you will try to get it solved that couple of things is happening on uh, i can say uh, there is one of the forum i think the name of the forum is stack overflow that is one of the thing where you can see couple of guys are pasting their problem the people's like developers code developers they are trying to get it solve the problem they are providing a solution appropriately for it so that type of thing is one of the thing which you have to do it when you are start learning it or you are a developer a developer just to enhance your skills and uh, be in a market forever you should have to be in these things so these are the seven core things four tools which i have told you about and these are remaining three one are the most important thing which you have to be take care if you are working like a software developer so i hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel this is not at all we am not covering any practical thing but the basic thing which i just want to get cover over here itself that's i'm just trying my best if you think like anything is missing from myself please let me know in the comment section of this video thank you so much once again take care bye bye